Hey guys, it's me, Lil Potato, and today I'm gonna be doing a mod overhaul video which is gonna be featuring more than 150 mods that I have in my game. And I have divided this whole thing into 7 sections, which are my must-have mods, my gameplay mods, small mods, overrides, bug fixes, lighting mods, and cast mods. And the order that I'm gonna be showcasing these mods will be in the same order that I have listed in the Google Docs document, which has the links for all the mods that I'm gonna be showing. And I have linked the Google Docs document in the description of this video to make it easier for you guys to keep track of everything. Jumping right into the first section, my must have mods. And the first on the list is the home regions mod from Kutor. It basically allows you to limit how much townies can travel between worlds, and it's all based on your preference. References. It just makes it so that the world is more cohesive and townies from other worlds aren't showing up. And as you can see on the screen, when you go to detail edit world, you can go to manage households and see that each and every world has their own townies that live in that specific world. But what of the townies that do not necessarily live in a certain lot but belong to that world? For example, bartenders, vendors, or just homeless people in general. When you go to households that are not in the world, you can see there is a plethora of households that do not reside in a specific world. With this mod, you can basically assign any sim that you create and add from your gallery to move to a certain world and be the townie, the NPC of that world. And to access its settings, it's very easy. You just shift click on the ground and go to home region settings where you can set venue filters, define world exemption behavior and all of the jazz that comes with this mod. For example, you just created a sim or you're just adding a sim from the gallery to your save file and they're homeless, go to live mode and shift click on the ground and select the move town used to option and you can move them to the world that you want them to reside in just by clicking their name and the icon that you see and there you go, you have moved that sim to that certain world. The second on the list of my must have mods is random text from Kutor. The thing is, it's not a must must have if you do ask me but i cannot play without it that's why it's in the list it's because it adds random little text from your friends family for example the text that we got from Paler saying like hey bro what's up was kind of funny and then we got a moodlet after saying bro bonded and etc or the text that we got from our father in one of my very recent episodes saying like hi they're my little sugar booger and it was the weirdest thing ever but it did add like a little bit of spice to my gameplay. It just makes it seem like the friends that you make or the family that you have in game are realer. They can just text you randomly all of a sudden in the middle of a day without any reason other than to text you. The third on the list is Pets Everywhere from Kuto again and this mod adds dog walkers and or strays to other worlds besides Brindenton Bay without removing existing NPCs or walkers from those regions. I've never encountered dog walkers if I'm gonna be honest but I do encounter stray cats and dogs in my gameplays. For example, in my wild child let's play, I adopted a cat and a dog and they were both strays before I adopted them. The cat basically showed up at my house out of nowhere but it was a stray at the start and the dog I just met on the streets and I decided to adopt him because it was winter and it was, you know, cold and the dog was so adorable anyway. And that is the reason why I need this mod in my game because I cannot live without it. Like adopting stray animals is very fun for me. The next mod is Steady Sit and Seed Any Sim mod. Steady Seeding a Sim is so useful. Here is a little experiment that I made to show you guys how this works. Basically, first I'm gonna do the control group, which is without the mods feature. I'm just gonna tell her to sit here and try to talk to Hiroshi. And as you can see, she just gets up and tries to talk to him. For the second part of the experiment, I'm gonna make her steady sit at that couch and talk to Hiroshi again. And as you can see, this time she doesn't get up and she just goes straight to talking with him and i can also click on the other couch and make hiroshi also steady sit on that other couch and also this is very helpful for vetting or party settings where you want people to sit at certain places the fifth mod is very straight to the point as well. It's the Control Any Sim mod from Titan Nano. You can basically just click on a sim that is not in your household and go to actions and under actions there will be an option that says control this sim and when you click that, that sim will be 
temporarily added to your household and you will be able to control any of their actions like make them talk to your own sim make them do something else make them fix something around the house this is one of those mods that you don't know that you need until you download it and i cannot live without it so i just had to put this on the list the sixth mod is mc command center and i cannot and will not play my game without mc command center you do not understand how much mc command center helps me with my gameplays and also everything it literally changes your game i think a lot of people do use mc command center already but they don't necessarily know the features in it because they haven't gone through each and every setting but there are some settings that are so useful for helping your gameplay like for example if your game usually shuts down and you have to always keep saving to don't lose any progress there is literally an option in mc command center to auto save so you know how in the game when a child gets neglected there is a chance that it's taken out of your household and into the void because the game just deletes it if your child is taken away because of neglect there is no way you can retrieve that child unless you go back Back to the last save that you had. This mod literally has a section for adopt neglected child under gameplay settings. By enabling this setting, it basically makes it so a random household will adopt your neglected child and you can find that child in the households under world edit mode so it's not gone it's not like gone into the void so i think that's very useful and there are many more settings like the ones that i have just listed i don't think i can tell you everything about mc command center in this video because this is supposed to be like a very brief introduction to some of these mods if you guys are interested in learning more about mc command center i could dedicate like a whole video on how mc command center works and the intricate settings that you can mess with if you guys are interested just tell me and i will make a video on it because i feel like it needs a guide now moving on to the seventh mod on the list which is mc woohoo which is a module of mc command center it basically alters how woohoo works in the game and there are lots of useful settings in it like for example you can edit the percentage of getting pregnant for different ages and for different genders and you can also edit nudity for woohoo in game without the mod you're seeing Sims will just go into their sleepwear to Woohoo, but with this mod you can make them nude for specific types of Woohoo, which I listed. And other than that, there is like an extreme Woohoo section under it, which makes your Sims go buck wild and everybody Woohoo's with everyone. I don't know if that's like ideal for many of you. I don't necessarily use it for now because I mean, I love chaos, don't get me wrong, but that much chaos I cannot handle. Now, moving on to another big mod on the list, 8 fun on the list is. Is wonderful whims from turbo driver this is one of the biggest mods in my game this mod also has an 18 plus version but i prefer this version this mod basically has every feature that wicked whims offer but pg version you know without like animations for certain stuff but you can literally change your voohoo settings your pregnancy settings your relationship attraction settings your body settings and everything in this mod is needed and i highly highly recommend if you download this mod just go through every setting in this mod the ninth one on the list is preferences plus by helene and this mod is a must have for me it just adds a lot of personality to your sims what it does is that it adds a plethora of more likes and dislikes to your sims which you can add in create a sim or in live mode to the preferences plus menu under actions you can add archetypes to any sim that you see on the street like for example if you added a bunch of townies to your game for that specific let's play that you're gonna be playing and you want them to have a little bit like extra personality you can add archetypes to them some of the archetypes that come with this mod are hippie hacker gourmet god daydreamer partier and all of that jazz it literally has three pages of archetypes and with one click it adds specific likes and dislikes so that sim then makes them act that certain type of archetype and i feel like that's such a great way of adding personality to a sim i know i've said this like a bazillion times but it adds personality trust now moving on to the 10th mod on the list is pro core library from lumbino and this mod has a lots and lots and lots of features i don't know if i can go into each and every one of them in this one little video which i believe it's not gonna be too little by the time that i'm finished according to how long it's taking for me to explain each and every mod that i have anyway so currently the pro core library has 19 modules 
modules and you can literally pick and choose which modules that you want to add in your game and if you don't want to look through each and every module and decide if you want to add them to your game or not you can literally add all of them with one click from the modders website and every module has a different patreon post dedicated to them that explains everything in that module this mod adds so much life into families and romantic relationships that i cannot live without it even just the module for cheating and jealousy and infidelity is a mod on its own like it adds so much more new interactions it also has a dating app in itself meet and mingle which is a little different from sim the dating it's more casual and i prefer this one the latest module added to this mod is called adult life it basically adds woohoo drives roles styles and preferences to your sims woohoo i will just let that sink in you know anyway moving on to the next mod which is the 11th one it is a phone call overhaul and delayed invitations add-on from lotario it overhauls everything to do with phone call interactions and with the delayed invitations add-on you know how when somebody calls you to invite you out to somewhere and if you say yes you're instantly teleported even if you're doing something very important and you sometimes have to say no even though you want to go because you're in the middle of finishing something and there's like two seconds before it finishes but that person called you like two seconds earlier you know that feeling this mod makes it so when you say yes you're not instantly teleported to the lot of the chosen hangout space but you get a notification from the caller saying okay i just need to freshen up a bit so i'll text you in an hour okay and they call you after one hour saying do you still want to go out and you can still say no if you haven't finished that specific thing but if you say yes then you're instantly teleported 12th mod on the list is dj boot plays custom music mod from revy ray i use the retro module for this mod what it does is if you added custom music to your custom music folder you can add any music that you want into your game as long as you have the mp3 file for that and what i have done is that i have added a lot of party type of music under the retro folder i just went to game options and under game options there is a music tab there i just went to retro and i disabled every retro music that came with the game and instead enabled all the new custom music that i have added into my game this way the music that plays in nightclubs isn't asked because normally the dj boot music in the game itself is so bad the 13th mod on the list is called longer parties and more guests from VRB Sue, which makes it so that parties are 24 hour long, you can end at any time, and you can add 200 guests to that party. But if you don't have MC Command Center, the maximum amount of sims that can spawn on a lot is I think 20 if I'm not wrong. Since the max number is 20, only 20 guests will show up. And to fix that, you can just use MC Command Center and increase the number of people that can spawn in one area, but keep in mind that that when you increase that number it could cause your game to lag like for example if you max your sims on lot number to 40 and there's 40 sims on the lot your game will most probably slow down and probably lag so just keep that in mind while messing with these options the 14 mod on the list is iso loves photos full control camera from ravishin this mod is basically just a camera in game that you can buy from build and buy mod the difference between this camera and other cameras in game is that this camera has so much more freedom of like moving around and like rotating zooming in and out so this is very great if you like doing like photo walls in your game like i do in my well child let's play and i feel as if that this certain mod goes together with another one of Ravishin's mod which is the 15th on the list photographic memory 2.0 this basically adds a whole new photo display section the photos that you take can be turned into polaroids can be turned into little sticky pictures or whatever and you can do that all through the two items that come in build and buy mode which are the two photo storage items that come with this mod when you click on them you can either open them and add 
any type of photo that you want to add in them or you can click photo studio and under photo studio you can create photo gifts and through that option you can basically choose whichever canvas that you want your photos to show up on after you have created your photo gift you can click on that newly created photo and customize the print and you can change who took the picture you can add a description to the picture you can add filters to that picture there's literally so much you can do you can add moods for that certain picture you can make it a romantic memory you can make it a happy memory sad memory whatever and when you view that picture that sim will get that certain mood lit from looking at that picture which is such a great feature in my opinion moving on to another one of the bigger mods is better build by mode from twisted maxi this mode overhauls your build and buy menu and adds so many more filtering options that makes it so much easier to find objects and i just cannot live without it the 17 mod on the list is better exceptions from twisted maxi this mod is perfect for mod users that have plethora of mods because when you don't keep track of your mods after updates they will get broken and once you get like an exception report from mcc comment center or through this mod you will be able to understand which mod is causing that problem this mod comes with like patch scanners ui scanners it doesn't take away from the performance of the game and it's such a convenient way to find out which of your mods are broken so you see which mods that you need to update the 18 mod is kind of just precautionary mod which is the mod guard from twisted maxi this mod came out right after a couple of people started adding malware into mods there was a whole big ordeal about like don't download any mods because it could come with malware and etc but in that time but with this mod you can basically allow your game to be safe because when you add this mod what it does is just scans your game before you boot it up and if there is any malware detected it will not allow that mod to run its course in your game and will alert you to take that mod out 19 mod that i have on the list is smarter pie menu which allows you to basically just type out whatever interaction that you want to find if you know the interaction already because sometimes you know the interaction but you don't know where it is and it takes a long time to find it i feel that this mod helps a lot in that way the 20th mod on the list is tool i feel like this mod is so good if you use build and buy mode and if you like creating spaces for your sims to hang out in or live in this is a must have for me because the features that come with the mod makes decorating your house so much easier and i feel like it adds a level of creativeness to the game's own build and buy and makes it so that you can go beyond what they have already offered in the game which is already a lot but if you want to i would recommend looking up the functions of tool or just going through the menus yourself which is how i did it and the next three mods that i have in my list are all cheats always testing and always full edit mode mods from twisted maxi again which i think you can guess what they all do all cheats re-enables all in-game cheats that were disabled in the season patch always testing mod makes it so that testing cheats true command is always on in your game and you don't have to type it each time you want to use the command tool and always full edit mode is just as it says it makes it so the cast full edit mode is always on so you don't have to go to the command line and write cast full edit mode on when you want to change something about your sim that can't be changed unless you go into world edit mode the next mod on the list is ui cheats extend from VRV Sue again. First of all, you can change your sims needs with just one left click and it will be full in no time. I try not to use it but it's very helpful but I would recommend if you really are into grinding and actually playing the game to not use it as much because it takes the fun out of the game because when you don't have to take care of your sim it just becomes a little too easy. It could help with storytelling because you can easily alter relationship values with this. You can change the game time the season and everything that you can probably think of with just one click or two clicks and it's so easy to use and i feel like that's really a clutch feature now moving ahead to the second section of my mods gameplay mods the first one under this category is healthy living mod by panda sama and a deep indigo this mod overhauls the whole health system in the game and it changes how your sims gain or lose weight it changes the way exercises affect weight loss and makes it more realistic and not only that but it 
it also adds a new delivery service for healthy food and new drinks. And the last but not the least, it adds a membership system to the gyms in game so that you can't use the gyms for free. And this feature could be a hit or miss for a couple of you guys, but I like to keep my game somewhat realistic, so I like this one. The second mod under gameplay mods is Basemental Drugs by Basemental. This mod adds drugs and tobacco into your game and it's very straightforward, but it has a lot of gameplay in it. For example, there's this whole black market thing that you have to gain some specific skills and do something to unlock or access it and it's very hard to access it as far as I know. There's also a legalization system that you can configure for each world, meaning you can pick and choose which world's cannabis is legal in and the ones that you pick is not legal. There is a possibility that police could catch you if you're trying to do that stuff. And also you can go into drug trips with specific drugs and you can go to a shaman to cure your addictions and these are just a few examples of what you can do with this mod as long as you're over 18 and will not be affected by this type of gameplay i think it's a fun new addition to the game the third mod on the list is language barriers mod by frank and this one adds native languages for each world it doesn't necessarily change the way your sims talk but if you visit a world where simlish aka english is not the native language then you would either have to ask the people you're talking to to speak english with you or simlish which they can reject if they don't have a high enough level of simlish skill or relationship with you or you can learn their native language through simlingo which is kind of like a mm, spin on duolingo where you can learn languages through the computer and if you don't there will be misunderstanding when communicating with people that don't speak your native language for example you would do a friendly interaction with them and they would take it as mean and etc and you will get notifications of what they think you said to them and it's often very funny and very relevant to the topic that you were talking about. The fourth mod is Road to Romance by Lumpino and it adds a romance skill and locks some new interactions so that you have to advance in the skill to be able to perform them. I think it makes the romance in game so much more dynamic but if you have the new Love Struck expansion pack it's probably completely useless because EA also added a skill for romance as well with that expansion pack but if you don't have it like me this mod is base game compatible and it's very well made. The fifth mod is again from Lumpino and it's called Open Love Life. This adds a new preference to sims. Every sim can choose to either want to be in an exclusive relationship, indifferent to being exclusive, or does not want to be in an exclusive relationship. You can change your sims once anytime you want just by clicking on them and selecting their relationship preferences under the mods pie menu. And these preferences affect the way that they react to proposals they get from their partners. For example, if your sim wants an exclusive relationship but the sim they like doesn't want an exclusive relationship, they can ask your sim to have an open relationship and you can either accept or reject that proposal but if you are in an open relationship when your relationship preference is set to exclusive, your sim will be miserable in that relationship. I think that's very fun and could be used for storytelling purposes. Again, this mod adds more pizzazz to the game's own romance system and it's also base game compatible. The sixth mod is Flex Part-Time Agency Carrier Pack by Midnight Tech and it adds more part-time jobs and hour options for part-time jobs in the game and all part-time jobs have three levels and they also have daily tasks that come with them and i feel that it's a very good addition if you want more flexible times for part-time jobs the seventh on the list is childbirth mode by panda sama it makes the pregnancy giving birth and after birth process in the game so much more realistic i'm not gonna go into this mod too much because i'm in a bit of a time crunch and the mother's website explains every feature so well that I don't have anything better to say on that subject. Moving on to the 8th mod, it's Extreme Violence from Sacrificial. Now this might not be your cup of tea and I would completely understand it if it weren't, but it adds gameplay and it's a bit graphic so I would caution anyone wanting to download it for the first time. Like the name, it just adds graphic violence into your game. I solely use it for storytelling in my game, but if you want to go wild and cause chaos in your game, this mod might be for you, I'm just saying. The ninth mod is Life's Drama which is again from Sacrificial. This one is also unhinged. It adds 11 different dramatic situations that could happen around your sim depending on your settings. I have the mod in my game but I 
have disabled dramatic situations for both my sims and around my sims because some of the stuff that happen is crazy like you get hit by a car or somebody can kidnap you or a random runaway bride could appear in a wedding dress running around and etc and there's also a high society club that comes with this mod and you can increase your social popularity and gain trust to obtain dirty secrets even though i haven't really used this mod yet i imagine it would be fun to play too the 10th mod on the list is passionate romance from sacrificial and it adds new romantic interactions under new pie menu which you can unlock as your romance bar increases with a sim though i gotta say the animations are a bit extra so you can decide whether to keep it in your game or take it out but the reason why i kept it is because it adds a new romantic selfie and proposal photo option and the poses for both of those are very cute and it's very easy to use the 11th and the last mod for gameplay mods is road to fame this mod is essentially get famous but better okay that might be a little bit of a stretch because i've never played get famous but i truly feel like this mod has so much more gameplay than the official ep you can get famous as an influencer singer model street dancer or actor with this mod and each pad has so many new interactions that come with it like it's crazy you can also get brand deals orc obsessed fans or just normal fans paparazzi and etc and it's base game compatible so if you don't feel like paying 40 dollars for an expansion pack here you go moving on to the third section which is small mods and let me tell you there is a lot of mods in this section 120 mods to be exact so i will try to speed run it as much as i possibly can first one on the list is baristas bartenders cafeterias market stalls everywhere mods which are all separate but since they serve similar purposes i decided to group them up these mods makes it so that your lot or venue type doesn't matter other than residential and as long as you place the needed object for the npc to work on they will show up and additionally lots are not limited to having only one bartender and if you place multiple bars then multiple bartenders will show up second mod is basic burns from kutoe this mod requires you to have the island living expansion pack it's very simple it makes it so that you can get sunburns or get a tan without having to sunbathe just by standing outside if the weather is sunny and also adds a functioning sun lotion which you can put in your sims inventory and use it at all times to avoid getting sunburned third mod is called free dorm food changes from kutoe and as you can probably already guess it requires discover university this mod changes the type of food your dorm mates will bring to your dorm they will now bring pizza or sandwiches instead of a whole roast chicken or a lobster or something like that the fourth one on the list is the front desk mod from kutoe this mod requires get to work and its purpose is is, again very simple it makes it so that you can add a front desk and a receptionist to any community lot as long as you put down the front desk object place down a chair and computer on it the fifth small mod is ask category from kutoe this mod gathers all ask interactions in the game under one pie menu making it easier to navigate sixth mod is no crying and beer pong again from kutoe this requires discover university and even though its name is as clear as day it just tries to fix the beer pong reaction of out by just crying after every missed shot which is a little dramatic 7 mod is no thrifty notification from kutoe this needs high school years to work and it just removes the annoying thrifty notification you constantly get the 8 mod on the list is pool tweaks from kutoe this too requires island living and what it does is that it adds features that came with island living for the beaches to pools for example lifeguards will show up on pool lots people will go sunbathing if there are beach towels or lawn chairs present at the lot and a couple more features that came with island living are added to pool lots ninth on the list is thunderstorm moodlet rework from kutoe this requires the season expansion pack it changes the way sims are likely to behave when a thunderstorm is happening according to the modders website sims are 10 times less likely to autonomously use outdoor objects while it's storming and even when a sim is inside there will be a hidden moodlet affecting their actions the tenth mod is oni's recipe pack and it's from oni it's base game compatible this mod adds a whole ton of new recipes into the game and to access those recipes you have to put down the object that comes with this mod that can be found under small appliances category in the kitchen you can separately download each recipe or bulk download the recipes and there will be links to both on their patreon post and the cooking categories that come with this mod are meals desserts lunchbox instant food anime food drinks gourmet meal ingredients and grilled foods all accessible to one object and i have to say i love all the foods and the textures that come with this mod another mod from oni and the 11th one on the list is oni's custom grocery mod this is also base game compatible you can either click on the fridge or if you
you have the recipe pack mode, you can click on the item that comes with this mod to access Oni's grocery pie menu. And under that menu, you can buy groceries with one click and it will show up in your Sims inventory. And if you want a little bit more realism, then there is an add-on, unfortunately, that requires cottage living. But this add-on is called custom grocery delivery mode and instead of ingredients magically showing up in your Sims inventory, a delivery person will come in an about an hour and deliver your groceries to your Sims door. Moving on to the 12th mod, it is Zoomer's Delivery Plus from Oni. This mod needs the 10th mod Oni's recipe pack in order to function. To use the new delivery service, you can click on the item that comes with the recipe pack mod and select Zoomer's Delivery Plus under the menu. There are 7 new delivery stores which are the following, Kokyo Fried Chicken Store, Chinese Sim Sim Delivery, Sim Teok Delivery, I don't know how to read that, Soul Soul Burger, Smiley Corn Dog, Sushiya and Pizza Delivery. The 13th mod is Granny's Cookbook from Little Bulbab and it requires the Homestead Helpy mod from the same creator. This mod is similar to Oni's recipe pack but probably more well known. This too comes with a new item which is a cookbook that can be found under the small appliances section in the kitchen. You have to separately download the recipes for this mod to work just like Oni's recipe pack and this mod also has the option to bulk download or go through each recipe separately. The food that comes with this mod is also top tier and I really love this mod. 14th mod is called Hot Chocolate Machine from Little Bobob and can be found on their Little Kitchen Helpers section on their Patreon page. It is base game compatible and it's a machine that makes hot chocolate. Pretty fun if I do say so myself. 15th mod is much like the Hot Chocolate Machine. It's called Home Barista and it needs Get Together to work. It basically combines the chunky ass machines that come with Get Together for coffee making and puts all the functionality under a neat small coffee machine. This is a lifesaver, 100%. 16th mod is All Time Teapot from Little Bulbob and it's base game compatible. It's a functional teapot item that you can use to brew tea in if you do not already have the for rent expansion pack. The 17th mod on the list is Cookbook SNS from Somic Severinka. The function is the same as both Oni's recipe pack and Granny's cookbook. I think the reason why you have it in my game is because another mod that I had before had this mod in its requirements but I just never took it out I guess. Moving on to the 18th small mod on the list, Kiss and Grind from Utopia. This mod actually recently got a new update that added some friendly interactions under the new Babe and Grind module and they too are absolutely adorable. This mod adds new animations under romance and the friendly category with the new module and each interaction has different results in moodlets and their animations are just so cute and intimate. You can use them in a date setting or at a nightclub or when you're chilling at home together with your partner but it definitely makes the romance in game much more engaging. The 19th mod is Passionate Gifts from Utopia. This adds a new pie menu under romance interactions where you can gift your romantic partner five different gifts with varying prices and all different animations. Your sim and their partner will both get moodlets from the interactions performed under this mod's pie menu. 28th mod is pool table mod from Utopia. This mod adds a two-player pool table that is functional into the game. This mod as of now has more than 28 animations and still developing but the autonomy interaction that comes with this mod is just a bit confusing because it's called ask to play but any sim can ask another sim to play even if there's no pool table on the lot so when they do ask and there's no pool table around they just stop conversing altogether but other than that it is a very fun mod to have for group outings and parties the 21st mod is brawling mod from utopia this mod adds physical fighting animations under the mean category i personally love it but some of you might prefer ea's ball of smoke and dust fighting animation where your arms and legs are flailing around but it's just my preference to have a more realistic fighting animation 22nd mod on the list is functional wolfon by eving lama this adds a wolfon to your sims that existed in previous versions of the sims could be considered old-fashioned but i personally like the way it looks and it has a feature that allows your sim to get random calls every day which makes everything even more livelier in the game 23rd mod on the list is dreams and nightmares from elaine bm mods this mod makes it so that your sims can have dreams and nightmares when sleeping and they can get a variety of different moodlets from each one. The 24th mod is base game nap in chair unlocked from Millet. Like the name suggests, it unlocks napping in chairs for every sim and not just lazy sims. The 25th mod is carry and kiss from Klaas. Klaas? I don't know how to pronounce their name, sorry. First of all, I have to say this animation is perfection. This mod adds one new interaction called carry and kiss under the romance pie menu and it's a steamy kiss animation. I mean, what more could you want? 26th mod is cuddle and bat together again by class this mod adds a cuddle
subtle interaction to the bathtubs in the game and this too has such a great animation but unfortunately the game's mosaics cover most of it but since I have another mod which I will discuss further on in the section I still have it in my game because it's simply too adorable of an interaction to just let go. The 27 mod is romance interactions from Kira's Sims 4 mods. From the linked website in the Google Docs document you can pick and choose which interactions you want to add to your game and once you download them and add them to your mods folder these interactions will show up under the romance category. Most of the interactions come with custom responses you will receive through notifications and they have different moodlets after each interaction. The 28 mod is hug lovingly for best friends and more from Lazaru Sinashes. I don't know how to say their name. This adds a new interaction under the friendly category that has the animation for the romantic interaction embrace. The 29th mod is storytelling socials version 1.7 which is the latest version as of now. Like the name suggests it adds a bunch of storytelling socials to your game that come with different moodlets outcomes for different situations. From this point on which is gonna be from the 38 mod to the 61 mod will all be from little miss sam and all will be base game compatible. Although I have not base game compatible mods from little miss sam they're mostly tweaks and there is a lot of them so i thought it would be more efficient if i didn't cover them in this video but rather show you what i do when i get a new pack for my game and you guys could follow the same steps if you are interested what i do immediately after getting a new pack for the sims 4 is i go to little miss sam's website which you can see on the screen right now i scroll down to gameplay mods first and write the name of the pack i just installed into my game on the search bar let's just say the pack is realm of magic for example purposes after you write down the name you will see all the mods they have made that requires realm of magic from there you can just read the mod summaries and decide which ones you want to have in your game and click on either one of the download links to download after finishing the gameplay mods i scroll down and copy and paste the pack name under random small mods category and repeat the same process until i scroll all the way down and there are no other tables left 30 mod is better autonomous homework and it fixes autonomy for kids doing homework 31st mod is ask to cook bake grill mix drink which adds interactions to ask other sims to cook bake grill or mix a drink for your sim 32nd one is ask to upgrade and it adds an interaction to ask to upgrade any object from other sims 33rd mode is call a babysitter this mod lets you call a babysitter 34th mode is choose who you can call to meal lets you choose who you call to meal 35th one is can i come over mode which adds a new interaction under socials on your cell phone where you can call other sims and ask to come over and they will respond saying either yes or no 36th mode is called first love when children have a high enough friendship they will unlock a new pie menu called first love where they can do sweet interactions with one another and 37 mod is food delivery service that allows you to order more food other than the pizza 38 mod is go for a walk mod this small mod adds an option to go for a walk going for a walk increases fun and will reduce some negative buffs 39 mod is healthy drinks and this one adds healthy drinks to your game which you can access by clicking on the fridge and choosing the healthy drinks option and drinks will have healing effects 48 mod is live-in services where you can hire two living nannies two living mates two living gardeners and or two ranch hands if you have those packs but still is base game compatible 41st mod is more away actions and this mod adds new away actions to sims that are left at home such as sleeping going on a date pet care training pets doing homework or working on daily carrier tasks 42nd mod is no strangers knocking at your door pretty straight to the point 43rd mod is personal objects that allow you to claim computer tablets and more and lock from other sims 44th mod is power napping on sofas adds a power nap option to sofas 45th mod is quick shower and quick bath that fills sims hygiene needs faster and takes less time 46th mod is auto check toddlers and infant tweaks which tries to fix and reduce emphasis on the try the game's botched up system for auto checking toddlers and infants the 47th one is auto put painting in inventory after a sim finishes a painting rather than leaving the canvas at the painting station the sim will automatically put it into their inventory the 48 mod is bad environment buff tweaks which tweaks the buffs for bad environments to be less dramatic 49 is buy more upgrade parts which allows you to purchase upgrade parts in bulk with discounts 50th mod is choose leftover pie menu version this allows you to pick which leftover you want your sims to eat when you click on the fridge and 51st mod is no auto put away toys and pet toys again straight to the point 
explained. 50 second mode is higher distance for sim callover, which increases the distance limit to the callover interaction in the game. 50 third mode is send sims to bed, which adds a new interaction when clicked on beds to send anyone on the lot to sleep in the chosen bed. 50 fourth mode is small take photo overhaul, which adds take selfie interactions to all camera. 50 fifth mode is called social activities. This adds rabbit hole social activities your friends and family can go with. 50 sixth mode is spend the weekend with and with this mode you can send your kids to their grandparents or the other parents or you can send your teens to stay with a friend for the weekend 57 mode is unlock and lock doors for chosen sims which adds more lock options for doors 58 mode is kiss neck for adults the original creator is scarlet but little miss sam has kept it updated it unlocks the kiss neck interaction for adults which was previously only available for teens 59 mode is subject homework which again was originally from scarlet it adds subjects for your kids homeworks and completing each subject increases a skill related to that subject makes homeworks more meaningful in the game 16th mode is dress code custom lot trade it adds a lot trade which you can add to any lot from build and buy mode that allows you to dress code a certain attire like formal wear, party wear, or etc. 61st mode is auto employees, which is another custom lot trait. This mode is an absolute must have for me, but I for some reason forgot to put it in the right category. Anyway, with this mode, there are two lot trays that come with it one is employees professionals, and the other is employees lot owner. With any of these lot trades, when you click on any door on that lot that you place the lot trade on, if you have the needed object for NPC, to spawn for example a bar or piano or a dj boot a auto employees menu will show up and through that menu you can allow bartenders baristas entertainers nannies djs and many more to spawn on that lot and with the professionals lot trade randomly generated npcs will spawn and do their job regardless if the lot is a residential or a community lot but with the lot owner trade you can assign that npc job to your own sims the 60 second mode is come through thy window from lot 51 and it requires high school years dlc place an easy exit window in your bedroom and then select the window to invite any age appropriate friend and that friend will sneak to the window then knock and wait for your invitation the 63rd mod is fashion authority mode from lot 51 and i'm well aware it's not a small mod by any means but with this mod you can completely renovate npc outfits and towny fashion also weather specific outfits or situation outfits this mod has a steep learning curve but once you learn how to use it i guarantee you you will never take this mod out of your game for the sake of your aesthetic pleasure the 64th mod is sunrise from lot 51 it adds an alarm clock to the game where you can set scheduled alarms to wake your sims up automatically the 65th mod is ding and ditch smart doorbell from lot 51 and this adds a functional doorbell to your game you can place it right outside your front door and you will get a notification anytime a sim comes over to your house the 66th mod is better reactions from Lotario. This mod is a lifesaver because it tweaks how sims usually react to stuff happening around them, which is to stop doing everything and then stand for 30 seconds doing nothing and react randomly. And the addition of this mod makes the reactions capable of happening when sims are moving around, saving you a couple of seconds every sims day. 67 mod on the list is collect dishes faster from Lotario. It makes collecting dishes faster. 68 mod is no holiday reactions from Lotario, which removes useless holding reactions 69 mode is swimwear shower at pools that makes your sims go into their swimwears to shower rather than get naked at pool lots 17 mode is walk faster by lotario which makes your sims walk considerably faster making going from one place to another take less time the next six mods will be from lumpino and nearly all of them require the 71 mod which is lumpino's mood pack this mod provides dozens of custom moods for other mods to use the 70 second mode is contextual social interactions which is very similar to storytelling socials mode where new interactions are added for different situations and this mode also comes with custom moodlets after performing those interactions as well 73rd mode is first impressions this mode adds a sentiment for sims when they first greet each other and this sentiment could either be positive or negative depending on your sims compatibility they can get moodlets from first impressions and first impressions can go away with time 70 
fourth mod is LGBTQIA+, that adds more gameplay for LGBTQ sims, such as being in a closet or an activist or etc. The 75th mod is No Strings Attached, which basically adds a new pie menu and a new type of relationship, which is the equivalent of friends with benefits. They can do all the romantic interactions they want, but if they have agreed to be in a friends with benefits relationship, their romance bar will not rise, but they can start to develop feelings for each other if their situationship goes on for too long, and they can ask to be actual romantic partners at the end of it, or they can end their agreement without becoming romantic and only staying as friends. The 76th mod on the list is Talents and Weaknesses from Lumpino, that randomly assigns your sims talents and weaknesses on certain skills, and they can be customized to your preference as well. These talents and weaknesses will affect how well your sims will perform, some actions and how fast they gain certain skills. The 77 mod is Expanded Storytelling Relationship Bits mod from Maple Bell, where you can add relationship bits such as Unrequited Love, Night Owl Companions, Forever Grateful, Unspeakable Connection, and much more to your sims relationships to spice up their relationship. These bits will give you custom moodlets when performing certain interactions. The 78 mod is More Kisses from Maple Bell, which adds more kiss interactions and animations under the Physical Intimacy Pie menu. The 79 mod is Teen Stories and Activities mod, and this adds rabbit hole activities for your sims to go with their friends or get invited to those activities. Some of these activities include going to the beach, going to a convention, going on a game trip, playing games at a gaming center, and much more. You can make the parent sim either have the permissive, uninvolved, or the strict parent trait, depending on which trait you assign to that parent. When teens ask for permission, parents can decline or accept their proposals. The 80th and 81st mod are self-manicure and self-pedicure mods from Mercury Foam, both needs body to function. This mod can override the already existing base game nail polish set in the build and buy category, or can add a replica of the same set, but with the mod's functionalities depending on which package you choose to download. I use the override package because I see no use in having the same object twice, one being functional and one being not. With this object, your sims can give themselves a pedicure or a manicure at home and both have a couple different animations for different sitting spots. The 82nd mod is Lion Lap from Mercury Foam. As the name suggests, it adds a Lion Lap interaction on sofas. The 83rd mod is called Sit on Floor by Mercury Foam, and this mod makes it so that you can manually make your sims sit on the floor anywhere just by clicking on your sim and selecting the sit on the floor interaction. The 84th mod is custom uniforms from Midnight Tech, which adds an option in your sim's cell phone under carrier category to change their carrier outfit, but I recently took it out of my game because MCC has the same function in it. The 85th mod is Simazon Unlimited Ebooks mod from Midnight Tech. This mod adds an online library of ebooks for tablets in-game. The 86th mod is Simoleon Side Hustles from Midnight Tech. This adds new side hustles you can complete from your home or in a short period of time and gain some pocket money. 87 mod is Call Anytime Plus Relationships mod from Succumbumbo, which allows your sims to call other sims at any time of the day without getting the oh this person is sleeping type of notification. 88 mod is Teleport Any Sim from Scumbumbo. This mod is mostly used for posing purposes. It comes with a statue that you can find in build and buy mode and can place anywhere on your lot and then teleport someone any sim you want to the exact position of the statue. You can stack the statues for poses with multiple people. 89th mod is use telescope indoors from Missy Hisi and you can probably already guess that it allows your sims to use a telescope indoors. One might think why would you want to do that but trust me sims 4 is so glitchy that even if you think the telescope is outdoors the game thinks it's indoors and doesn't let you use it sometimes and this mod eliminates that factor so so very very useful. 19th mod is called Vase for Garden Flowers from Plastic Box. This mod adds a functional vase which you can purchase from Build and Buy mode and physically drag small flowers onto it in live mode for decoration or commemoration purposes. 91st mod is No DJ or Bartender Uniforms from Revy Ray. This mod comes in two different modules, one for DJs and one for bartenders. The DJ one requires get together since DJs come with that DLC but the bartender one is base game. As the 
name says it removes uniforms from bartenders and DJs, which you can also do through the fashion authority mode, but I'm too lazy, so I got this one as well. 90 second is rainproof electronics and servos from Simi Time. This mode requires the seasons expansion pack and makes all electronics rainproof. 93rd on the list is greetings mode from need coffee for that or nc4t. This adds a new pie menu to greet other sims in different manners. This mod is base game compatible but it will need packs for some greetings to show up in your game. 94th mod is I like the rain from nc4t. This adds a new lifetime reward where you can make your sims like the rain and not use umbrellas autonomously and this one also needs seasons expansion pack. 95th mod is cake a break buyable cakes from ravishine. This mod adds a new object that can be bought from build and buy menu and to the cake box object you can purchase cakes with a few clicks. The 96th mod is cheapskate roller and ice ring set from ravishine and it requires the seasons expansion pack. It adds more variations to the already existing ice and roller skate rings in the game. 97 mod is counterfeit washer and dryer which requires the laundry day game pack. It adds a new washer and dryer object onto the game that can fit into counters. 98 mod is counterfeit mini fridges from Ravishine. This is base game compatible and adds a mini fridge that fits into counters. The 99th mod is a doable cupcake maker which is a smaller alternative for the junkie cupcake maker in The Sims 4. The 100th mod is don't lose focus cameras which adds 3 new cameras and 1 tripod which you can use with any camera and these cameras are slightly improved versions of the base game cameras. 101st mod is functional vending machines from Ravishine and it adds 2 new base game compatible vending machines into your game. 102nd mod on the list is modern family portrait from Ravishine. This adds a photo frame into your game which automatically displays a photo of your current household. The 103rd mod is magnificent personal brewer from Ravishine. It's a base game compatible coffee and tea brewer. The 104th one is paint of heart functional paper sketchpad from Ravishine and it adds a sketchpad that helps you increase your painting skill which is portable. The 105th mod is sent to be oil diffuser which is a base game compatible essential oil diffuser which can be purchased through build and buy mod and it gives your sims moodlets buffs according to the scent you choose. The 106th mod is ultimate indoor potty pads from Ravishine. I think they explain themselves pretty well with the name but of course you need cats and dogs expansion pack to use it. The 107th mod on the list is romantic sky gaze from sacrificial. It adds a new romantic interaction for sky gazing with a significant other. The 108th mod is slow dancing from sacrificial and this one adds a slow dance interaction where you can also embrace and kiss your partner while doing the slow dance. The 109th, 110th and 111th mod are bed cuddle, cute romance and interactions from the past from the pancake one and Mizora Yuki. All these mods add new romantic interactions into the game and interactions from the past add some interactions from the sims 3 converted into the sims 4. And 112th mod is no bad microwave buffs from Mizora Yuki. It removes the uncomfortable buff from using the microwave. 113 mod is bad grades are okay from Mizora Yuki. With this mod, the social worker will no longer take children with bad grades away from their families because that's just actually nonsense. 114th one is smaller sensor from Lemmeringue. I don't know how to say the name, honestly. The sensors in game are usually very big and bulky and cover more than what is needed. And with this mod, there are four versions and I personally use the original smaller mosaic a.zip in my game, which just makes the sensor mosaic smaller. 115 one is MBTI personalities from zero, adds new personality system to the game and the personality traits are assigned to your sims according to their own traits. 116 mod is always wear a towel after shower and bath from zero and as you can probably already guess, it makes it so that your sims will wear a towel after every shower and bath. The 117 mod is go for a joke together from zero which makes it so that you can go for a joke with someone instead of doing it alone. The 118th and 109th mod are autonomous breakup and divorce and autonomous go steady and propose from zero. I don't know if this mod works with the new Lost Track expansion pack or even if you need it with it but since I don't have the new expansion pack I use this mod for autonomous proposals 
or breakups. 120 mode is more selectable icons from Zebrew and it adds more icons to select from when creating clubs or holidays or etc. And that was the end of the small mod section. The next section is the override section. The first one on the list is CC Wrench Override by Tiasha. It changes the ugly blue wrench that indicates a piece is a custom content into a simple white sparkle icon which is a lot more prettier. The second one is Single and Double Selfie Override by Dear Kim and it overrides the selfie poses for single and double selfies in game. The third mod is Over Rose Default Replacement from Jessica and it overrides the rose in over rose interaction and it changes it into a beautiful bouquet. Fourth one is a phone override from fake pikachu. It's a maxis match phone override that is not as chunky as the EA phone. Fifth one is airpods 2 override by Nuri Batsal and it requires the fitness stuff pack. It replaces the earphones that come with that pack with airpods. The sixth one is white ice skates default replacement from elf like. This one requires the season expansion pack and it replaces the ice skates in the game with beautiful and simple white ones. This seventh mode is card default replacement by Yak Farm and it requires the get together expansion pack. This replaces the in-game card decks with more realistic looking card decks. Eighth one is coffee to go cup override from large tater tots and this too requires the get together expansion pack. This replaces the to go cups from coffee shops. The ninth override is painted up mode sassy edition from sim in my best life. This overrides the base game paintings into very beautiful new paintings. The tenth one is a book cover default replacement from Simkatu, which replaces some of the book covers to look more aesthetically pleasing. Eleventh mod is take off shoes with animation from Sepsid Creation, and this needs the Snowy Escape expansion pack. This replaces the taking off shoes animation with a more realistic looking one. Moving on to the fifth section overall, which is bug fixes. This is like a mini section. I wouldn't even call it a section, but I, I mean. It's here, so I gotta do it. The first one on the list is Vampire Invasion Fix from Lotario, and this one requires the Vampire's Game Pack. It fixes the Vlad visit, which at some point got broken and stopped happening. For some reason, it never happens to me. I don't think Vlad has come to my house once in this game, but I hope this mod works, but I don't know enough because I haven't played enough with this mod. But I'm just gonna be putting it out there since it's already in my mods folder. The second and last one for bug fixes is Ranch Channel exclusive cowpoke dance and it's from Maru and it requires the horse ranch expansion pack. This makes it so that sims only do the cowpoke dance for the ranch channel and no other channels. The sixth section is my lighting mods. The first one on the list is Out of the Dark from Lotario. This mod is a complete rework of the indoor lighting in the game. It makes shadows softer, replaces the blue tint like lighting with warmer tones, enhances the way light reflects from walls and objects and overall makes the indoor and out outdoor lighting look more cohesive together. Second one is No Glow 2 from Lumia Sims. This removes the unnecessary glow from Sims in life mode and make their skin look like actual skin and not just plastic. The third one is Sunblind from Softer Haze. This mod is a hassle to install but once you get it installed it is so worth it. The modder has a guide on their Icho website that has a step-by-step -step explanation on how to install Sunblind and if you just follow those steps nothing should go wrong. In game the this mod makes your game feel so much more cozier and the sunsets and sunrises are so unreal with this mod. It's so pretty and without it I feel like my game is just missing that you know? The fourth one on the list is actually a transition mod from my lighting modes to my cast modes and it's called cast lighting mod version 6 from Helga Tisha. I have the A variant installed in my game and this is how my cast looked without it and this is how it looks with it. I personally really like the way it looks now. The last section is my cast modes. The first one on the list is cast background from Sha Sims. I use the cactus color for my cast and I like to go simple with my cast background because I have ADHD and I get distracted very easily. Second one is cast blob remover from X Urban Sims X. This removes the blob under your sim in cast. The third one is tidy cast from Sparrow CC. This sections the skin details and tidy categories to make it easier to stack stuff on top of each other. Fourth one is stand still in cast from Mizoro Yuki. I use the shook sims version for mine. Fifth is cast tuning control position mode from Northern Siberia Vince. This mode turns off the auto snapping camera in the tattoo section 
collection and adds a new hand position for the nails category. The sixth one is more columns in cast from Mir Bisu. I use a three column version. This decreases the amount of scrolling I have to do and I have been using it for forever. I can't even fathom what two columns would look like, it just scares me. The seventh one is no makeup and no accessories on randomized sims from Simply and Nuta. This removes makeup and accessories from randomized sims in Cass. Eight one is more traits in Cass from the Pancake one and Mizora Yuki. This makes it so that you can add up to five traits in Cass, but just because you can doesn't mean you have to. You can still leave sims at three or less traits if you are feeling lazy. The ninth one is Cass unlocks from in there and I have all the add-ons except the glove and the werewolf one installed in my game. This unlocks all cast parts for all sims and I cannot function without having this in my game. Tent mod is body hair replacement Lumia edition from NDRZ. I don't know how to read their name, sorry. It replaces the tacky looking body hair textures with more smooth and detailed ones. The last but not the least is Body E2 Lean Body Preset from Lumia Sims for my masculine sims to have a little bit more shape around their waist and hip. This is a must have mode for me to have in cast. And I think that's all for my mods right now. Oh my god, this took years. I tell you, years to make. I'm not kidding. This this took me like three weeks non-stop editing and filming so i would really 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 appreciate it if i knew that i helped some of you out if you guys like liked or left a comment if you don't want to that's fine as well but i just you know want to reach out to as many people as i can i really really hope this video helps somebody out there because if it didn't i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry this took way too much time and effort i don't think i will ever be doing a mod overhaul video to anybody out there who also has done mod overhauls with more than 100 mods i respect you i respect you a ton i could not do it again but i might do like little you know 10 to 15 mod overhaul videos in the future but this is my last every mod in my game type of mod overhaul because i ain't doing that shit again <laughs> never again never again anyway so that's all i wanted to say i hope you guys all have a great day and a week after this week i'm gonna try to get my schedule in place with university term starting as well so i'll keep you guys posted on what i'm gonna be doing but until then see you all next time bye